Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Season 10 is here for Dungeon Masters, so if you're excited, today's the day for you. So you can go ahead and jump in there. Technically, by the time you're watching this, it'll be Thursday and it was open yesterday, so hopefully you already got this. But I wanted to do a quick video featuring some of the changes, putting in some tips in there uh, for both this season and future seasons when you're playing uh, to really get you to jump out there and get as far down the well as possible. Also, there's a major announcement on Womplay, uh, which is Wombat's uh, platform where you can go ahead and play uh, Web 2.0, Web 3.0 games and earn uh, tokens and NFTs. I'll have a whole video on that next week, uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but there's some big news with the VIP uh, pass that's there. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Like I said, Season 10 is officially live. As you can see, I'm recording this on Wednesday a few hours after it launched. Uh, there's a few updates. Um, not not a ton has changed, at least not that I've seen so far. Um, but there's some some things that you may be interested in. First of all, the one thing I wanted to go ahead and call out there is if you are a f uh, Alien World player, Alien World uh, NFTs are now stakeable in game. They're very minimal M MP, uh, very low MP. Um, but you get uranium. It's it's the second. Uh, I, I think it's the second. Um, uh, collection that I've seen so far that does uranium. There's no, I'm, I'm sorry, there's other ones that do uranium, but it's one of the bigger ones that does uranium. I, as you can see, there's other ones that do uranium, so I'm not sure what I was just thinking there for a second, but there's very, very, very few collections out there that do uranium, and there's only one collection out there that does gold. Uh, so it is nice to see that they, they both put uh, Alien Worlds in there, and they also have it for uranium. So if you have a, a big collection there that you're not using, uh, you can go ahead and stake it now. But again, the MP is a little lower than I expected for that. Also, what I wanted to mention is they did uh, allow us to, to go ahead and stake the beta testers. For those of you that were involved in the beta test, you can now go ahead and stake it in game. It's 750 MP. It's a nice little boost, especially if you... you you just did a little bit of testing on the, the desktop version of Wamplay. It was a nice, a nice addition that they had in there. All right, a couple tips that you may want to uh, do if you haven't already done, uh, or you can use it for future seasons, um, that helps you get really far down the well really quickly. Like I said, it just kicked off a few hours ago at the time I'm recording this, and I'm already 200 plus down in the well, uh, and it's because of a few things. First of all, make sure you get yourself a uh, an article of clothing that has um, this one right here the rope length um, I was lucky enough to actually pull this out of a pack um, it is a 15.63 percent rope length uh, which is great and every time you go over to the well of wealth and you go ahead and accept one of these quests you put it on you, you don't have to have it on during the actual mission itself or the run itself you only have to have it on when you actually accept the request. I've probably gotten maybe 25, 30 extra meters just because of, of that article of clothing. And if, if you look in the secondary market, at least at, at the time of this recording, those were cheap. They're actually one of the cheapest legendaries and mythics that are on the market right now. Uh, again, this is totally make sure you <laughs> make sure you don't take this as financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure it's right for your situation, obviously. But if you want a little bit of a boost when you're accepting those quests and going down that well of wealth that helps speed up the process, uh, that's a good article of clothing. Even if you go ahead and get the commons or the uh, the, the rares, uh, they'll give you they'll give you a bonus too. They'll give you that little extra length that may help you get to the bottom or get to the 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 areas that you weren't able to get to last time. So that's one thing. Another thing what I do is I over the the seasons I've been able to collect one article uh, of clothing for every single rarity. And I don't buy it and sell it every single time. I go ahead, I have the same set of commons, the same set of rares and uh, epics since I have a, a few seasons ago. I just hold on to them. They're, they're, not, they're not super expensive. You get a lot of them in packs. Just hold, hold on to a set. And I was able to go through uh, this first line of um, quests for the equipment very, very fast. I think within the first hour, I had this, this whole line closed out. Obviously, I'm a little bit lucky because I have some legendaries and I have some mythics that I was able to either pick up or pull out of packs. I get that. Not everybody has that. But you can at least get pretty far down this list 
Epic, all the way up to Epics are pretty cheap on the secondary market. So there's no there's no reason that you can't get through that within the first hour. Uh, if you obviously if it's right for your situation, I keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, but that is one tip that I often use. I, I've used it every single season. I have uh, a rarity of every single article of clothing. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. I have an uh, uh, article of clothing and every single rarity uh, where I can just go ahead and cycle through that. Just run five minute quests. Just quickly go through that, and then you have that down there pretty quickly. Also, last but not least, um, and this is one that again, this is dependent on your situation. Get that season pass. Um, go over the well of wealth. You need that season pass. If you can afford it and it's in your budget, grab that because the rewards for the season pass, one, you get like twice or three times as many rewards on this side of the well of wealth, but you get to some really good ones super fast. Like you're giving, like within the first day, I can go ahead and collect all these. I haven't collected them on purpose because I wanted to go ahead and show them to you uh, as part of this video. But the rewards for uh, the season pass is crazy compared to the, the free side. Um, again, I know not everybody can do that, but there's a couple ways you can go ahead and get that. You can buy it on the secondary market. Uh, you can buy it uh, as part of their Nefty drop, um, which I, I would hesitate with that. Make sure if you do buy it from this, make sure you either buy it for Wombat, depending on the, the, the conversion factor, and or you have the VIP, because that, that makes it pretty much a, a lot cheaper. Or you can get it on the secondary market uh, a couple days after the season kicks off because people start to sell theirs on the secondary market. In addition to that, you can go ahead and become a VIP. Uh, and whoops, and the VIP is, if you're VIP five and above, which I know is a stretch for a lot of people, uh, that'll go ahead and give you a free one every single season plus some VIP packs. Uh, so there's a number of different ways that you can go through the process to get a season pass. And the rewards, uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about ROI in regards to that, but you get it back pretty quickly. Um, I have uh, I've been able to save up for VIP season or VIP level five, and I've been able to really kind of earn my my staking back already with all the rewards from the packs that you get at the beginning of the season, uh, the season pass each season, plus all the stuff that you get in the well of wealth, um, simply because you have the season pass. So it's something to consider. I know it's a stretch. Again, it's a stretch for a lot of people. So just make sure it's right for your situation. Those are the three main things that I would go ahead and uh, my tips to jump into every season. Make sure you have something that gives you the extra rope length before you start accepting those Well of Wealth missions. Also, try and have an article of clothing in every rarity that you possibly can that's best for your situation. Uh, even if it's up to an epic, you get through a, a large bunch of those quests pretty quickly within the first hour just by running five minute quests and switching out your articles of clothing. And last but not least, if you can afford it, if it's in your budget, uh, make sure you get a season pass one way or another because the rewards will pay for themselves uh, within a couple seasons. No guarantee there. Obviously, stuff could change. Um, but if, if you get, especially with the VIP five, if you're able to swing that, uh, it's like I said, for me, it's paid for itself, uh, relatively quickly. We'll, we'll say relatively quickly. Uh, but again, pure speculation, no guarantee to that. Make sure it's right for your situation. All right. We've gotten through the season 10 updates. Uh, again, there, there's not a ton new in season 10. I know they have a lot of focus right now towards Dungeon Worlds. So we're going to be seeing a lot more Dungeon World stuff coming out here shortly. Uh, but I did want to throw out one more announcement that they dropped as far as they did mention that the, the Wombat, uh, Womplay Prime, uh, if you're part of Womplay, again, I'll have a video coming out about Womplay in general uh, next week. Uh, but if you are part of Prime, whether you bought it or you have a part of VIP, there's some good, there's some changes that are happening to it. There's some some benefits that are going to be uh, help you out, uh, but there's also a little bit of a, a price increase if you don't have it through VIP. Um, these are the new rewards. Um, the main things that are in there is the three X boost. Basically, when you're in Wom Play, if you go over here and you actually uh, put all your Wom bucks into here, this is the cash out. It, it cashes out every week. Um, uh, so at the end of the week, if you are a VIP, then it'll go ahead and give you three times as much when you cash out. Uh, so that may or may not be worth it to you. Uh, it also locks, unlocks your private key instantly. I don't use that that much. Uh, actually, I don't think I've ever used that. Um, there's no delay uh, with NFT quests. Basically, if you're over here and you go ahead and do this one and you earn, oh, that didn't come up right. Uh, if you go in there and you, you earn NFTs through the game itself, 
uh, like this. If you don't have Prime, you'll go ahead. You have to wait seven days in order to go ahead and claim it or get, actually receive it. Uh, if you have Prime, you'll go ahead and get that instantly. Also, there's 200 free actions uh, for EOS, Wax, and, and Telos. Um, the main things that, that really are, are the benefit to most people is you also get the bonus, uh, the, the, the normal uh, bonus for, per, for Wombox uh, with the VIPs. And then you also get the, the 3x uh, cash out if, if you use that a lot, if you're playing a lot of games and you're earning a lot of Wombox and you do it through the cash out option. Uh, 3x is pretty decent because you're going to get three times as much, which is nice. Um, the one thing I did want to mention, the price is different right now for Prime uh, is $1. The new price is actually going to be $6.99. So understand that it, it is going to be more expensive. You get slightly more benefits. Um, the neat thing that they're doing is if you have VIP, uh, you'll go ahead and get, I should say, VIP two and above. Uh, you're going to go ahead and get that Prime for free. If you're VIP two to four, the only thing that you will be missing is the seven day delay. You, you you won't have that bypass. You still have to wait the seven days to get your NFTs. But if you're VIP five and above, you get everything, including the, the waived uh, seven day delay. I just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that are playing one play. I'm going to have a whole video on it because I wanted to make sure that I go ahead and address this since it is a way to go ahead and play Web 2.0 and Web 3.0's games and get extra rewards, uh, extra NFTs that you can go ahead and use in Dungeon Masters, potentially down the road, other things. You can also get cryptocurrency. I, I ended up getting uh, Polygon Mantic out of it. Uh, so there, there's a lot of different things that you can get as rewards from playing this. All right, go ahead down in the comments below. Let me know, are you playing Season 10 of Dungeon Masters? Are you excited for Dungeon Worlds to go ahead and come out? I can't wait. I know there's little parts of it that are available, but I can't wait to the actual dungeon because I want to go ahead and put my dungeon out there and see how it all works. Um, I hope you all have a great day, uh, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.